Good afternoon and welcome to uh, our Christmas party. Training with all you guys at Lobos, 
your spouses letting us uh, train with them. Appreciate you guys all. And we'll try to do it again, hopefully soon. All right, now uh, I would like to recognize uh, our club pretty much function uh, with the help of all the volunteers. Uh, they dedicate their time, they dedicate their uh, funds, sometimes actually money. They uh, donate a lot of money to make it happen. So uh, for this year, uh, I actually recognize two individuals from uh, Dobo Velo San Diego as our uh, outstanding volunteers. So uh, maybe call on uh, JP and uh, Paul Piansai. A little bit of uh, history or synopsis of what they did. Uh, as you all know, uh, Adobo Velo San Diego, we organize our own rides and uh, we support each other. So JP, for this year, he was in charge of Palomar, which is a, a big endeavor for uh, uh, one individual to actually uh, volunteer and coordinate all the, uh, you know, the food, the drinks, and all that stuff. So JP did it for this year. And as far as uh, this gentleman right here, uh, he does it like on a regular basis. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not news to us already. It's just, I would say, not even customary for me just to hand out a trophy, but he actually deserves it. Uh, one of our guys, or some of the Double Velo San Diego, did the double century this year. And he volunteered, or, you know, sang all cyclists are familiar with that uh, terminology right yeah. for 200 miles that's gas food and free massage yes that's the thing that's the thing yes all right and on top of that we uh we held our uh, yearly i would say twice year gwl uh it's a great western loop i mean some of the cyclists probably oh yeah it's nothing i, I do it on a daily basis but for someone who dedicate, uh, dedicated their time and money and gas, that's also Paul. So uh, without further ado, there's Paul and JP. I was expecting this to go to somebody else, but uh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Uh, what I do for the club is, is uh, you know, I do wholeheartedly because it's all about camaraderie, the friendship, we always help each other. And as uh, a Double Velo member, I'd like to share with you also that one time uh, there was a biker who had a flat tire and uh, I didn't know him, he was from a different club and it was like in, at the Lemon Grove Post Office, it was like six in the evening, I was dropping off the mail. And so he lived in El Cajon. So I gave him a lift, he couldn't believe it. Like, you know, I said like, you know, he was going to try to wait for his friend and go like, no, 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 I'll take you home, you know. And then I said like, you know, this is what we do. We're a double band. We help fellow bikers. All right. So, and then I told him like he wanted to pay me and I said, no, pay it forward, you know. So he remembers a double bell. And he says like when he sees somebody on the road, you know, he was a, he was a white guy. And he's like, you know, he's like, when I see a, a double bell member in the road, I'll definitely acknowledge them. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like to say thanks for this, and uh, hope I get another one next year. <laughs> so, actually, that was my sketch, so thank you. <laughs> you can no, actually, I want to challenge you guys. Do it next year, too. Yeah, we, we uh... We actually are looking forward. Uh, we have uh, also, like what I said, I would like to recognize all our members who uh, PR or did their personal record for this year. Meaning, out of the ordinary, not two rides. <laughs> two rides out of 2023, that's a, that's a lot. And 8,000 and above. Some of you guys probably don't you know, use that mileage in your car, right? 
not even like uh, you don't even even want to drive that far. But our guys, for some reason, they overdid themselves. So uh, may we call on the uh, first uh, two uh, four thousand plus awardees. Mr. Edward Serenas, Mr. Phil Pineda, Mr. Ron Colobo, and uh, Mr. Jojo Gokin. Hello everyone. Uh, Jojo Gokim is from the North Fort San Diego chapter. <laughs> actually, Ken and I are, and Ron, we're actually coming out from the LA area, right? But of course, we enjoy, we ride actually quite often down here in San Diego, and that's why we enjoy the people that, in San Diego, that's why we're in San Diego chapter, right? So, again, we try to enjoy the ride with everybody, right? So, like I said, the, the mileage kind of just ends up being that much at the end of the year, right? We just try to show up and as much as we can, definitely we go down here to join the guys. And I think, like uh, Butch said earlier, it's just to enjoy the company of the people here, right? Which is the, the fun part, right? We don't know it's the mileage. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. Thank you very much for the award. I didn't expect anything like this. It's been a pleasure this year, Ryan, with you guys. So, uh, so pretty much for everyone, uh, I would just like to pretty much say something about writing. Uh, my list just accumulates, but uh, the best important part is you riding your bike. Uh, one thing I've learned around uh, all these years that you know it's not about uh, having your miles, but having the best health for yourself. Because if you don't have your health, uh, for you to ride or uh, you know also be safe out there. But just let's have some more years to add in our lives to have this fellowship and camaraderie. Because this comes, we only live once, and you know friends come and go, but every cyclist is always going to be a cyclist. No one's going to be a stranger out there. Everyone's going to help each other as a cyclist. That's just the nature of being a cyclist. Whether you ride mountain bike, electric bike, it doesn't matter. As long as you ride, having fun out there, bringing some fresh, fresh air, getting away from every problem you have at your house, you know, a change of scenery, a change of pace in life, it always goes a long way. And that avoids stress. Your stress is the one that will kill you and yourself. And the bike is your tool to help you progress your life. So, you know, hopefully, I'll see you out there on the road. I just kept riding my bike, and I didn't know I ride that much the whole year, but I would like to thank everybody that, you know, did this, and just keep riding. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the award. Uh, I didn't expect this. I normally don't load up my uh, data, I just randomly post it. But for some reason, I still have 4,000 that go out there for right, stay in shape, and to ride with you guys. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Last but not the least. Oh, just to let you know, I pay for all these trophies. <laughs> this is coming from my Conago Fund. This right here is the most expensive trophy that I ever bought. I would have never thought that this guy will make it to 4,000 miles this year. Um, last, uh, the, last, the last three years. <laughs> Hello. Last week he was still about uh, 3,900 plus. 3,900. Yeah, so close to 4,000. So I did not order his trophy. Because, uh, you know, like going back to my proper, right? Uh, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink. But this guy actually drank it. 
Uh, give it up for Bong Pasqua.
um, and riding over oh, 500 and yeah. trying yeah. to make sense of that. It was probably way tougher than I've ever been. So this is the toughest year I've ever done. Almost 700 feet of climbing and 10,000 uh, miles. So keep riding. All right, so let's go on to the rapid drawing. We'll receive a raffle prize, regardless if it's small or big, but you will receive and you'll not go home empty-handed. Okay? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.